my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. In the Catholic Church and in the world, today we are celebrating the feast of Saint Valentine. And it's very important day for expressing love and spreading the message of love in various ways. In all the human beings, we have two kinds of natures within us, the good and the bad, the nature of light and the nature of darkness. When we look into the history of human beings, we can clearly understand and we have experienced in our daily lives. Each one struggles in one's own heart according to the weight of the problems, difficulties, pains that each one of us are experiencing and most of us will turn or manifest or those feelings into hatred and keep distance from our fellow human beings especially towards strangers, weak and marginalized people. In the society, mostly they become the scapegoats. There are many people in the history who prove themselves. Human beings are capable of showing compassion, mercy and unconditional love towards the fellow human beings. On February 14, 269, the priest Valentine was executed in Rome during the persecution of Christians. Saint Valentine used to give flowers from his garden to the lovers and newly married couples. He expressed deep humanitarian concern of love, joy, goodness. The world had seen many persecutions. Many powerful people have shown their power against the weaker and innocent people in the society. The reason behind these kind of persecutions and killings is the struggles, problems, difficulties and lack of peace within oneself. And those people who face such situations in their heart, they express or manifest them into good or bad, or into light or darkness. The corona pandemic is currently challenging the whole world and threatens humans with the question of how do we respond to this challenge. And it tells us that the self-evident behaviors become a danger. Human closeness, warm hugs, celebrations in large groups are dangerous for health from the medical point of view. The leaders must intervene and temporarily restrict self-evident human rights. The economy is suffering. Young people and especially the elderly and those in need of care feel isolated. Dying people remain alone without saying farewell to their grieving relatives. Others do not want to acknowledge the dangers, demonstrates, protests, which is the right, but on their hand, frightens and brings insecurity to many people. The old has become really difficult. How to deal with it? The world and all the people should look at Jesus Christ who will help us to make good decisions. Jesus Christ is the only giver of good health and he is the healer. In the gospel we have seen Jesus Christ heal the man who had skin disease. And also we have seen Jesus Christ heal many other diseases and gave life for the people. All the people who believed experienced the love and the healing power of Jesus Christ. The poet Eugene Roth sums up this truth. A person feels completely transformed as soon as he is treated humanly. Where does Jesus Christ get his strength 
wisdom, power, understanding of people? The answer we can say through prayer and confidence in his loving Father. He goes into silence of the night and in the freshness of the morning to a lonely place to pray and keeps communion with God. When we pray, it does not change God. Instead, prayer changes each one of us. Prayer transforms each one of us. Prayer makes each one of us to become loving human beings. Prayer is not giving or keeping suggestion in front of God to act according to our wishes and desires. Like Saint Valentine, we who is the patron of flowers. Let us also draw strength and love from God and let us share the love, compassion and mercy towards our brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us ask God's blessing. Let us pray for God's love on this world as we are celebrating the feast of St. Valentine. Let us intercede his prayer to shower God's love, mercy, compassion on this world and heal the sickness and get rid of this pandemic and show us the way. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.